Election Day. There's more on the ballot than choosing the next president and local representatives. There are also 14 different amendments. News 5's Emily DeVoe has spent the last two nights helping you to better understand them. Tonight, we finish the final installment with amendments 11 through 14. The last four amendments on the ballot really run the gamut, from jobs to toll roads to political age restrictions. Number 11 is one Mayor Sandy Stimson is throwing his support behind. It gives municipalities across the state an opportunity to create jobs. He says this amendment could lure more mega projects and industries to Mobile because it lets cities borrow money from the expected property tax bumps on these project sites to make them more appealing with new infrastructure. There's 84 different sites across the state that they could benefit from this. Political analyst John Gray explains both sides of the argument. Some people say government shouldn't be in the business of trying to create a industry other people say that governments need to be able to compete with other governments, otherwise we lose jobs. Amendment number 12 would let the legislature give Baldwin County power to create toll road authorities to help pay for projects like the Baldwin Beach Express North. And Alabama voters have proven time and time again that they are not interested in any additional taxes. And that means that if we're going to have the additional infrastructure that everybody does want, that we've got to find an alternative way to pay for that. Number 13 on the list gets rid of age restrictions for political offices, except for Judges. At 70 years old, a judge can no longer run for re-election. That part of the law stays. And finally, number 14, perhaps the most confusing but important amendment on the list because it could impact more than 400 local laws. It's on the ballot because there's a pending lawsuit in Chilton County in which a judge could rule that hundreds of laws around the state aren't valid anymore because the legislature didn't follow the correct procedure to pass them. And that has lawmakers like Senator Kim Ward, who FaceTimed us on Edge. All 67 counties will have issues at stake, including annexation, the funding for their police departments, their sheriff's departments, courts, district attorneys. It would be a huge nightmare for a lot of local communities. With your On the Ballot update, I'm Emily DeVoe, News 5. For a more in-depth explanation of Amendment 14 and all the amendments, head over to our website, WKRG.com.